Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 17. I'm Andy and this is the Let's Play on the Hof Bergman map. Episode 71, I think. So uh, we started our harvest of our um, soybeans. And this is field 19, I think. It's last field we're harvesting. I've done some of it off screen today. And now we are just doing it, doing the rest sort of on screen. So it's not a lot left, it's this piece here and then everything is done, pretty much. We've got about 100 and... Uh, and might get about 150,000 liters, but I'm not I'm not entirely sure on the exact amount, we'll see when we're done. And uh, So this is basically, um, basically what I'm doing, it's pretty close to uh, rain. Okay, there we have rain plant uh, expected for tomorrow and then we'll have some okay days and then some more rain and stuff so but we are, are in the autumn so that's not entirely strange that it is that way uh, so we'll go over here and get our tractor here to go and and get the last bit of it out of here which will be soon it's just that small piece there then we have to go <laughs> spend the last well, the, uh, quite a large part of this autumn actually um, plowing these fields so this indeed uh, which is sort of well, we'll take a little bit of time doing that, but it's that's fair enough. We need to do that, okay? So let's empty it. We'll empty this into here. I'm not sure we'll get fit this whole thing in there, but we'll try. I tried setting us using the um, the multiplayer on the map, but it didn't turn out very well. I had some problems, um, some issues with it, basically. Or unfortunately, and we'll we'll lower that. get this back because we harvested all the fields so this is done now when you can go take this back to the farm so let's drive this back a little more better speed so I think the viewpoint in this is, is Really, it should be really good because there's so much windows, but I think we're slightly too high up in here. Maybe that's the way it is, but it seems slightly too high up. Let's see there and we'll turn up here. Um, also, I st started mowing some grass. Uh, which you have done on field four, and I've done most of the other fields too. But um, on some of the fields, I'm actually planning on mowing, tethering, windrowing, and uh, baling it. So there's a slight difference there from earlier. Earlier. Um, because we haven't tethered, and that's not. I have this field left, and a couple of fields up there too. So I have some fields by left to mowing and complete but I'll get to that later I'm just gonna go and actually I'm gonna go refuel this first before parking it see it's evening all the shadows are all the sun is setting so the shadows are closing down I have some troubles with some I have some issues with lag for some reason today. 
I don't really know exactly why. There might be something. Uh, my, I have a few windows open in in um, Chrome, so maybe that's the problem. Something is not. Something is amiss. Anyway, we'll go. Whoa, sorry. Uh, yes, it's good here. So this is where we're gonna go. No, we're gonna mow this, and then we're gonna tether it. So we bought some tethers, a tether, and we're gonna go and use that. So we got the the thing is here on the back folded up uh, on our uh, mower because then they don't won't collect the grass basically we'll just mow it so we can tether it so these are up if you can see there so that's good anyway so I tried the multiplayer I tried having I had multiplayers on pretty much all the time I went were online today except now and I had some issues with lag and it didn't really, didn't really work out and no one came along um, I released the video this morning. I'm recording, um, and this is broadcast slightly later. But um, I had a video on and um, how to log in, and no one logged in on. But anyway, if you want to play multiplayer, please let me know. I would uh, happy happily do that, and um, let me know sort of when you have the possibility to actually play. So I try. I'll try to get that sorted out and. So we can play together, um, but I can promise, of course. It depends on where, or what sort of time zone you are in, and I am in. So anyway, just post comments uh, during this video or any other video if you want to play multiplayer game, and uh, w if you want to play, and w when you would like to play, if it's possible. I can't guarantee that it is plus possible, but let me know. And we'll try to sort it out if it if it is possible. So, uh, if you like to play, write a comment and also write what time you would like to play a weekday. So, which weekday? So, which time works out for you? So. We will set up. I think we'll set up. No, oh, that's not installed. Sorry. No, there it is. Sorry. Like the lag. Ah, it's not working. Fifteen or fifteen or like nine, nine meters. Okay, something is weird here. See how that works? I don't know. Something is slightly weird here. I can't really say why, why, what it is. See on this version, you can see that the trees are actually set up for uh, seasons. Uh, this is not. Why is this? Not like nine meters. See if this works. So eight point four. I think it should be like nine. I don't know why it's not cutting nine. Ah, oh, never mind. This seems to work at least. Go here. Do every other. Hopefully, this works. We'll try and get the other one last, that one there, and see if.
see if it cuts all of it. Yes, it does. Good, great. Yoo-hoo. Very good. So that worked. Good. It's not the biggest field, and but I'll yield a couple of bales at least. Oh. A couple of bales, hopefully. Right, so you see here, where by folding these up, you can see how you do that. You see the left or right mouse button, then you can actually get these. actually cut this one get the nicest radius to turn so I'm going to do that so what two or three two or three more lanes to go before we're done and then we need tether uh, in the thing is really cool. I haven't tendered before on on the Hofbergen map. I actually bought everything also like the by bail mod. But here when we tender you will actually see okay, this is going. You will have actually be able to see the difference between hay and grass on Hofbergen and it's a substantial difference. There's quite a lot of stuff that's different. Well, not a lot of dust stuff, the, the coloring, the, the texture, the texture and color is very different from on some other maps where you can hardly tell the difference between hay and grass, but you certainly can do that on this one. Even slightly unrealistic, I don't think the, the difference is that big between hay, grass and hay, but we'll, s we'll I'll show you, I'll show you. Nice, nice, nice. What to do, what to do, what to do. Uh, we go. Almost done. Then I'm gonna show you tethering. Because it's quite cool actually. Pull that. We'll go up here and park it. On the side of the road. Here, so not the best parking. Go in here, we get our little. This is the 724, which is. You pull this tether, which is Puddinger, costs like 27 grand or something. Not too bad, actually, uh, considering the size of it. It's quite big. Lower it, start, and then you see the hay is so different, different from the grass texture. So really cool. And this is a really big tether. This is, I mean, this this tether makes it a breeze to do tethering on on this map or any map, I guess. But it's a really big. I got a small one from the beginning. I got a small one and I got a small window than than the one we have that which I bought and which we are now own own on this map. So um, but I changed my mind and I figured I would get a bigger one. So I have a bigger windrower and bigger tether. Just to make things go go along a little bit faster. I, I thought it might be too big. I'm not sure about the window. We haven't tried that yet. I think that's like fourteen meters or something. But this I thought this would be too big too. I think it's twelve something. But I actually turned out pretty nice. So I, I, I'm I don't, I'm not sorry about choosing this width of a, uh, on the tethering, tether, it works nicely. Let's see, here we go, here, missed the spot there, yeah, I missed this, I was gonna get that on my way back, but I forgot about it. So you see, very different texturing on the hay, 
and and then we're going to window everything and collect it with a, a square baler which we have a known uh, and I think that will work out pretty nicely I don't think we'll collect a huge amount of uh, hay of these fields but I'm thinking maybe I should windrow field 6 or field 5 too which is the big field but I haven't decided my, um, I might do that I'll decide that off screen probably See if we get this ready. Could get the GPS, but I don't need that. I think this this is not a problem. I think you could get. I'm getting a better sense of where everything is, tool-wise, but. I think I should could probably practice more on it. This one is this because you want you want don't want to miss any spot, but you don't want to overlap too much either because that is a waste of time and fuel. So it's actually working out nice. I think maybe slightly to the left. See if we can get everything clear there. That's what I could have. I could set up GPS and just use it as a guide. I don't have to switch. I like it. Um, bind it to it so it actually runs the auto steer function. But I could just use it as a guide to where I should turn. I don't know if this twelve meter. Maybe, maybe that's good enough. So if we wanted to, we could go just like this, and then we'll follow the, the line here. We should be able to tether everything nicely. We could bind it also, or bind it, connect it. I have this, have that switched, uh, switched to button on my steering wheel. So I just press the button, and it will follow it, which is nice, also. Press it in a second time to unbind it or unengage and disengage it. Sorry, not unengage it, disengage it. Which makes it easier. So, almost done with this field. Uh, the problem with tethering and windrowing is that you lose some of the grass. At least that's, I think, I haven't done any testing, but I think you do lose some of the grass on the field, unfortunately. Well, that's, that's the way it is. And the last little piece here, bit here. We have some more fields to mow and, and do tether, but uh, for now we're gonna be pretty much done with this last little bit. Oops, sorry. Switched off the uh, this cruise control. And there we are. Stop it on um, raise it and then fold it. Pretty nice, good. So I'm gonna stop there. Um, nice short episode. Farming Simulator 17, Hofbregman Reloaded, I've done some stuff here. Next time we'll probably do the windrowing and some more stuff, but that's another episode. Okay, so I'm Andy, thank you for watching, have a great day everyone. Um, if you like this channel, please subscribe, if you like this episode, please hit the like button, leave a comment to share. Take care, bye bye.